students class 10 example sum 8.4 the number of televisions sold in each day of week are the data is given as 13 8 4 9 17 sorry 7 12 and 10 find its standard deviation so this is the given data we want to find the standard deviation the given data is here ungrouped data right so for this we can use any one of the method we know that we have we know the direct method and assumed mean method and then step deviation method to solve this either we can use any one of the method to solve the solve to find the standard deviation see the given data is very smaller means we can use the direct method to find out the values so first of all the direct method so the given data 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so n is equal to 7 I am using direct method to find out this value for the direct method we are squaring the given terms to find the standard deviation right let's see see first the given data is xi and then we want to find out that is xi square and xi square we want to square this term the smaller number only so we can directly the square that means square is 169 right 8 square is 64 4 square is 16 and then 9 square is 81 7 7 are 49 and then 12 12 are 144 and 10 10 are 100 now we want to find out summation of xi and then summation of xi square because we know the standard division formula standard division sd or we can use the symbol standard division root of summation xi square divided by n minus summation xi divided by n whole square is the standard division formula so we want to find out what is summation of xi square and the summation x now we want to add this term if we add this term we get 63 if we add this 10 14 20 24 and 33 3 remainder 3 7 11 19 20 32 2 remainder 3 3 plus 1 4 5 and then 6 so 623 is the summation of x square now here we apply the values see in the place of summation xi square is 623 divided by n is equal to we have found out that is n number of datas minus summation xi is 63 divided by 7 whole square now Reduce this 7 ones are 7 8s are 56. Right? Plus 7 8s are 56 means 62 minus 56 is 6, then 63. 7 9s are 63. So we get 89 minus here we get 7 ones are 7 9s are here 9 square is 81. So when you subtract this, we get root 8. So first we want to find out what is the root value of 8 we know how to find the root value 8 means that is 0 0 0 we can add pair of zeros inside there to find the square root value here perfect square is 2 2 is our fourth right? and then we have remainder 4 and then 0 at your point and whatever the number is appears just double that number or multiple by 2 we get 4 next is here we are going to multiple one number that number is if you multiple 9 means it is more than that number right so we take 8 times put 8 here and here 8 8 are 64 4 remainder 6 8 4 are 32 plus 6 is 38 then subtract this we get 6 1 and then take the another two zeros for finding the square root value and double this number 28 into 28 is 56 right now we are going to add one number here that is multiplication see here we have 500 something it is clearly possible only two times or three times three times is more than that number so we put two 2 2 is a 4, 2 6 is a 12, 2 remainder 1, 2 5 is a 10 plus 1, 11. When you subtract this, 6, 7, 
four and then we get two zeros here and double the number four six five when you multiply this by two we get this five sixty four and this number is approximately see here we are going to do a number here here it is forty seven thousand something here if you add one number also we get five thousand something so we get clearly nine times of forty five right here we have six hundred something so we take it as eight times eight eight is sixty four eight four is thirty two thirty eight remainder three eight six is forty eight fifty one remainder five eight five is forty plus five forty five so here we have third digit is more than five so we add one number so we get the two point eight three approximately the standard deviation is the standard deviation is approximately 2.83 is the value thank you students